YouTube videos were built on hope. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Welcome. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, force push that like button. If you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell to stay up to date for all of our latest videos. Andor Season 2 is filming right now. Season 1 was Hope AF awesome series very different from everything else we've got in the star wars universe more blade runner ish but season two is filming there was some setback but now some more updates looks like uh, my favorite boy in the new era two tubes no one knows which two tubes it is edrio we don't we don't know but two tubes will be returning to Andor. season two made a small appearance in season one and so will more off as well this is a criminally underused character in star wars uh negative oh most aliens are criminally underused uh we just play with them like with action figures because uh that's what star wars is action figures the filming location for this is Greenham Common. Greenham Common was used for Dakar in the sequels. Does that mean we're going to be heading to Dakar? Can we see the first instances of the use of Dakar? We know that obviously Yavin is where the Rebel Alliance, like that's their planet, but maybe Dakar is a secondary option. Obviously, we know there's a battle of Dakar. Leia goes there. There's a whole issue with Dakar. There's a whole series sequence with Dakar and the resistance are we going to see the early days of that or are they just filming there because um you know reuse the same locations because they have uh probably already have their insurance and permit maybe that's it that's why they've got over there they have their permit and some insurance is ready to go so they move back yeah that's probably not the case could be Dakar could be something else would be very cool uh, I, the other thing I think that's cool about these characters returning is obviously they were in um and or season one very minor roles background characters if that kind of just kind of the bodyguards of Saw Gerrera. But Saw Gerrera and Luther, we saw the exchanges going on and you kind of see the fall into madness that Saw Gerrera is, go is leading towards as we get toward Rogue One territory. Uh, we see like we see him at the beginning of Rogue One. We've seen him in now Bad Batch and all these other Clone Wars and Rebels and we, we kind of see him deteriorate, <laughs> his mind deteriorate into madness, into totally for the cause but almost too far on the cause and in mandalorian season three we also see that the new republic kind of goes in that direction too and it's kind of staying on track with that that being said luthan obviously big things come in season one where they sacrifice a whole ship of innocent people just to prove that there are no spies around are we going to see this more in depth and are we going to see some let's face it terrorist attacks by our boys tubes more off head headed by saw guerrera in season two things are going to bite and get really deep in season two it looks like and could that be the case are we going to see some insane terrorist action from the partisan group in rogue one i would lean towards yes but i'd also lean towards no because the show the first season i would like it went in every direction that i was not expecting it to go in. it didn't really do what you anticipated so maybe not maybe they're just background extras again once again uh but but i kind of think because each arc is going to be a year and we're going to get right to rogue one i think we're going to see some terrorist attacks and that's really really going to be punishing on the empire and the empire is really going to go full throttle on taking down the rebel alliance other news on andor season two it looks like andy circus is returning his name popped up on a cast list at star wars celebration lots of rumors now he seemingly has confirmed that keno loy is alive and he could be out there seeing what he's doing i don't know i was fine with him being gonzo uh because i kind of like the idea that he sacrificed himself at the end but let's see what's going on man because it's, I mean, it's Andy Circus was so great in that role. So let's see what he's got in Andor uh, season two. Maybe it's flashbacks. Maybe we're just getting flashbacks to him. Uh, uh, but I, I, I doubt it. I suppose there's something darker lurking within Andy Circus, and uh, obviously Andor knows who he is, and he knows who Andor is. So we'll see where that plays out. All right, everybody, let me know what do you guys think of all the new revelations on Andor season two? Are you looking forward to more more off and two tubes, and of course. Forrest Whitaker as Saw Guerrero, one of my favorites. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.